Sing another song for the ones in sorrow. Sing about the smiles that they'll never see. Sing about I'm absolutely loving this PR7. I might just have to get one myself. No, I'm just joking, but whoa, it's just it's so easy to ride. It'll be a jungle race here, all right? I get it. 350 FE Husky versus the PR7. The much better rider in front. But I have a lot to prove because I have a camera. <laughs> just joking. Ride what you can see. Oh. You seem to be adjusting quite well to the PR7. I am not letting you get away, my friend. <laughs> I, try, but I can try harder. Yeah, I, I can imagine, but please don't. I'm recording, so it makes me look. Is it, how, how, do you, oh. how does it feel compared to the 701? It's it's similar, but I, I enjoy this one a bit more. I do. I, I think I feel the same. Yeah. The, P, the 701 feels like a long bike that is not so maneuverable. This yeah. I agree. And the, the throttle response is much more smooth and mellow. And throttle response for me is my biggest pet peeve. Okay. So yeah. As soon as I got off the PR7, everyone was asking me, how does it compare to the 701, Johannes? And that is a very good and valid question. But instead of comparing the PR7 to the 701, I'd rather share my thoughts about the PR7 as a lightweight adventure bike. Previously on this tour, I rode the Diogo's XT, which weighs in at somewhere between 200 and 220 kilograms with a full tank of fuel. And that is a typical adventure bike. And I also rode the DR350, a typical dual sport. So where does really the PR7 fit into the adventure segment or the 701 or the 690? They are not dual sports. They are too heavy, one could say. They are not adventure bikes, they're not comfortable enough on the road, at least in my experience, that's why I sold my 701. So do they really make sense being like in the middle of the two groups? I think these in-betweeners makes a lot of sense if you live in a place like Portugal, where there are trails everywhere, but you also need to cover some tarmac to get to them. A typical adventure bike could quickly become too heavy because there's a lot of mud and hill climbs, and a dual sport like the FE350 is way too uncomfortable on the road. So for a trip like this, a bike like the PR7 or the Husky 701 is like the perfect mix. It all depends on where you ride and the trails that you have available. And now that I've established where the PR7 fits in the adventure continuum, did I like it? <laughs> I absolutely loved it. The suspension was incredible, the engine was powerful, but perhaps the one thing that I liked the most, the one thing that the PR7 has over the 701, is the throttle response. Very mellow, no jerkiness, a pure joy to ride. I'm just loving this. Oh man, this town looking for a place to eat lunch and following this random guy on his Yamaha TW200 actually and he's going to show us to a place you can see him at the front there with the t-shirt and the motocross helmet following a shadow down to the graveyard gonna say a prayer gonna pay my dues I've been running wild ever since I left Virginia trying to find a face that might be my See the sunlight rising in the mountains On Jan red in the morning sky I know that the world is ever steady changing Lord, give me wings so I could fly away Fly away, fly away, fly away Any heart can shatter Like a pain of glass Well, there's his TW. <laughs> That's a cool machine. All right, so we have stopped at a mountain town called Ameshuera. 
the guys are getting something to eat and just look at this view I know it's not that spectacular on iPhone but the mountains we've just been riding across them what a day what a day Sing another song for the ones in sorrow Sing about the smiles that they'll never see Sing about a love who's over across the mountain Tell her that I love her I don't you tell about me and after a hefty lunch, we continued towards our next destination. And this very destination, a town in a valley made completely out of stone, was easily one of the highlights of this trip. The name of this town was Piudau. I probably butchered that name like the tourist I am. And the roads leading up to this town completely made out of stone was absolutely spectacular. <laughs> Hello adventurers indeed, the Ogogenke. I absolutely don't mind standing here for a second waiting for the guys. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Look at that place. Pio Dao. I think that is where we're going to stay for the night, if I'm not mistaken. The city down in the valley. Wow, look at that. Sorry. <laughs> Look at this. Wow. All right, so we made it to Pio Dao, I think. The whole city is made of the stone behind me. And today's riding was out of this world. Anything you can imagine that you can do on a motorcycle, we did today. And I rode the PR7, I rode the CR Ref, not today, but I rode the XT, the DR. Wow, this was amazing, amazing day. Hello, Bill. Hello. Are you lost? No, mate. <laughs> Every street is similar. Yeah, wow, look at this. It is cool, isn't it? Sing another song for the ones in sorrow. Sing about the smiles that they'll never see. Sing about a love that moves across the mountain. Tell her that I love.